Good evening, this is Night Prayer for Sunday, December the 12th, 2010. It's the third week in Advent. The antiphons today come from Psalm 7, or hymn number 76, on Jordan's bank. The scripture for this service, Psalm 63, James chapter 5, verse 7 through 10, and the canticle from 1 Chronicles 29, verse 10 through 13. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we've sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. Psalm 63 O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsty, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise, so I will bless you all my life. In your name I lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Those who seek to destroy my life shall go down to the depths of the earth. They shall be put into the power of the sword and left as prey for the jackals. But the king shall rejoice in God. All who swear by God shall be blessed, for the mouth of liars shall be silenced. All praise eternal Son to thee, whose Son then doth thy people free. Whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. On Jordan's bank the Baptist cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Awake and hearken, for he brings glad tidings of the King of Kings. The lesson is from the letter of James, chapter 5, beginning at verse 7. Be patient, therefore, beloved, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth, being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You must also be patient. Strengthen your hearts, for the coming of the Lord is near. Beloved, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. An example of suffering and patience, beloved, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands, O Yahweh, I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, and hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, 
now and forever. Amen. Then cleanse me every breast from sin, make straight the way for God within. And let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. The Canticle from First Chronicles Blessed are you, O Yahweh, the God of our ancestor Israel, forever and ever. Yours are the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory and the majesty for all that is in heavens and on earth is yours. Yours is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head above all. Riches and honor come from you, and you rule over all. In your hand are power and might, and it is in your hand to make great, to give strength to all. And now, our God, we give thanks to you, and praise your glorious name. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. <clears throat> then cleanse me every breast from sin, make straight the way for God within, and let each heart prepare a home where such a mighty guest may come. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. The angel of the Lord made the announcement to Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Be it done to me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, your grace into our hearts that we, to whom the incarnation of your Son Christ was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> 